Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to a special report on the 11 megatrends of 2008, brought to you in association with ASB. Today we're looking at what we think is our second megatrend. That's the fall in New Zealand house prices in 2008. This is the biggest fall we've seen on record in nominal terms in house prices. In real terms, it's still quite large, maybe not as large as we saw in 1975, but it's a significant downturn in the housing market. In volumes, the fall has been even greater in percentage terms. Currently, prices are down 4.1% from their peak in November last year, something that most people back then wouldn't have admitted or thought would happen. Some people have forecast that it will fall even further, including us. Firstly, let's look at the reasons why house prices have fallen. Firstly, there has been a huge fall in the number of houses sold in the last year or so. You can see this chart here. We're looking at the median house price down slightly, and then this chart here showing the number of houses sold nationally, down from around eight to 10,000 houses sold to around four to 5,000 houses sold per month. We've also seen lending by the banks die very sharply, dropping from over $2 billion at its peak in, in 2007 to under $200 million a month now. We're also seeing a tightening of lending criteria. You now need 20% deposits to be able to afford a home, ruling out many in property investors and also first-time buyers. This has all helped cause the collapse of finance companies, which has again withdrawn new lending into the market. We're seeing less of the new developments going through as prop finance companies fail and the development funding these prop properties were expecting fails as well. We're also seeing the number of days to sell jump quite sharply from around 25, 30 last year to over 40, close to 50 on some occasions. You'll see here this chart, a big jump in the number of days to sell. We're seeing the growth too of the mortgagee sale phenomenon. Those numbers have doubled in the last year, as particularly finance companies put property developers and undeveloped section owners up for mortgagee sale. But we still have this Mexican standoff between buyers who really believe prices need to fall some way yet, and sellers who just haven't accepted the idea that prices need to fall, I think, around 20 to 30%. So where to from here? Well, let's look at this chart. This is quite controversial, which shows that our house prices have actually tracked US prices quite closely over the last seven to eight years, on the way up at least, and now on the way down, but lagged by between 16 and 28 months. So 2009 could be a very tough year for house prices in New Zealand. And we're still sticking by our forecast of a 30% fall in house prices from their peak in November last year through to the end of 2009. We're basing that on our view of affordability. For most people, it's still unaffordable to buy a house in New Zealand. And also because of the deleveraging tsunami that's sweeping the globe. It's now much more difficult to get a new loan to buy a house in New Zealand or anywhere for that matter. I'm Bernard Hickey. That was the second of the big mega trends of 2008, brought to you in association with ASB.